I'm, I'm quite literally shaking. It's, I'm, oh. Fucking real captivating shit right now. Lee doesn't know where he's going, obviously. Hey there, guys. Thanks for popping back. Um, right, so today, uh, we're going on a bit of a road trip. I say a road trip, we're flying. We're going back to the future. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're going, well, uh, no, we're going into the past. We're going to America. Um, there's a six hour time difference, so technically we're going back to the past. Back. They're six hours behind. Yeah, they're behind. Yeah, they are behind. So we're going back to the past. I've been trying to think of titles for this vlog, and I keep thinking something quite creative and original, like Trip to Chicago Part 4. Eh? Eh? Yeah, catchy, right? Catchy. Yeah, stands out from Part 1, 2, and 3, doesn't it? Part 4. No? Nah. Nah. Um, first thing we should do is start drinking. When I say drinking, I mean coffee, not hard liquor. <laughs> that comes later on. <laughs> yeah, boy. You see this? You see this? We are vlogging. Come on, let's go. We can do this. We can pack. Let's go. I think we can all uh, agree <laughs> that I need these. Rib for her pleasure. Eww. So, the time is finally upon us. It's five minutes past 2 a.m. I'm shattered. I need sleep, but I can't. Must stay awake, must stay awake. This is the, uh, the timeline of time. Well, that doesn't even make sense. I'm actually having to put 210% effort into making sure my mouth actually pronounces words correctly right now. I'm that tired. If I just relax one little bit, I'll sound like a man who's been drinking for 12 hours. Okay, so that was a brand new experience for me. Um, Self-checking in your own luggage. I have never done that before in my life, but I had these four S's on my card uh, boarding pass there. And I get to do it on my own. That's kind of pretty neat, actually. Just got through uh, security and my watch has fallen off and broken. I love that watch and it's booked. So it's now currently resided in the bin behind me. Unbelievable. Okay, so uh, after the upsetting moment of smashing my only and favorite watch, um, I've come back to the bar, that Italian bar I was thinking about that I absolutely love. So I absolutely love this restaurant. Uh, every time I come to Heathrow Airport, I always come to this bar, prop myself up, grab a couple of drinks. So it's time to get a few pints inside me and uh, drown my sorrows, and then fall asleep on the plane. I love this place. I can't explain it, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it's um, a psychological thing, but airport beer tastes better. It's the same beer, I'm sure, but it just tastes better. I can't explain it. To be honest, I think we really are going to have to call this a trip to Chicago part four because it is kind of a follow on from part one, two and three. But anyway, yes, um, had a couple of beers in the, the bar and now heading towards my gate, gate 29. I want to say it's my lucky number, but it, it really isn't. Uh, <laughs> guessing they're going to miss their flight. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, so the really unbelievable. Unbelievable. We'll try that again. So the last time I came through um, a gate like this, they actually pulled me aside to a, a second interview room where I had to be asked a whole bunch of questions again. Turns out they struggled to believe that someone could come to America nine times in two years. They seem to struggle with that concept. I don't know if they think I was drug smuggling or something, I don't know, but um, I tell them the same story every time. My fiance and my kid are in America. And I'm here in the UK and I travel back and forth to go and see them. They struggle with the whole concept every time. So let's see if I get pulled over again. The last three times now I've been pulled over. Let's see if I get pulled over a fourth. Why am I not surprised? Extra security again. <laughs> Fourth time in a row. So yes, just done my fourth consecutive security check, extra security check. Passed, of course, with flying colors. Um, they tested me for, I believe, drugs, obviously, and a couple of questions. But this is the price you pay for coming to America umpteen times in a couple of years. So it's 9.30, I think, something like that, and it's on the plane. Something wrong with the plane or something, they do some checks and I don't know, whatever. But, still sitting here, almost a two hour delay. Well, what can I say? We finally made it in Chicago, O'Hare Airport. Um, two hours late, which kind of really did suck. But doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'm here now. Uh, my lift, spelled L Y F T, I think, is on its way. That'll be here in like three minutes. So, yeah, this, this could be a 10 minute live, this could be a 55 minute ride, because I don't, Lee doesn't know where he's going, obviously. So, in theory, in about 15 to 20 minutes time, Jen's gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> I don't want her to die, no. I mean like a nice heart attack. She better do anyway, otherwise I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> okay. Oh, you think it's him? Why? What makes you say you think it's him? No, definitely not him. Just a vehicle, driving, doing their thing. Oh, wait a second! Oh, 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 oh! I think it's him! I think it's him. <laughs> I think it's here. Is that him? If it is, it's a lift. It's Lee! <laughs> Oh baby, the machine is here. I don't know where Lainey went. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Thank you, sir. 